today, guys, we are very thirsty. So guys, welcome to Hellstorm Wargaming. We are filming a brand new battle report from the outpost today. This is why we're on a, a terrible selfie camera intro. Selfie phone. So we have Dan. Rock, Hello. Rocking Dark Eldar today. My new codex. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna play the army better than I did a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, I'm not, I I know what how it, what it does. That's all right then. <laughs> and we got a brand new player. We got Chris. Hello. Welcome, Chris. You are rocking Blood Angels today. I am. Yes. Yeah. So have you? Do you like the look of the new codex? It's looking good at the moment, yes. Uh, only the second outing in 8th uh, edition for these guys so far. So okay, very cool. Looking forward to it. So, obviously, this is, uh, this is release day, so we are in a bit of a rush. So, let's have a quick look at the armies. All right, guys, this is my Drakari 2K list. We split into two battalions. Uh, the first one is a Cabal battalion. We have the leader, which is the Archon with an Agonizer and Parasite's Kiss out of the uh, new chapter approved, which is the Relic. He's going to be accompanied by a Slith. That's that one there. And then we've got a second HQ, which is another Ar Archon with a Husk Blade and a Splinter Pistol, again accompanied by a Slith. Then, for troops, we have three units of Cabalite Warriors, which are these three here. Each with a blaster in, and they've also got dedicated transport venoms with two cannons. For elites, we then have a unit of trueborn with two dark lancers, two blasters, and again, their uh, dedicated transport venom with two cannons. And then we have eight incubi with clavex and their dedicated raider with their bright, uh, sorry, dark lance and um, shot prow. I think I might have said Bright Lance there, but I meant Dark Lance. And then for the Flyers, we have a Void Raven Bomber with the uh, Dark Lancers, uh, the Void Lancers, sorry, and Void Raven missiles on that one. And then for the second battalion, we have a Witch Cult. So leading this one, we have Lilith. We have a Succubus there with an Agonizer. We have a unit of Witches with a dedicated transport Venom, with a cannon and then splinter rifles underneath. Uh, copy and paste here. So another unit of witches with splinter rifles and cannon Venom. And again here, witches with splinter rifles, cannon uh, in, on the Venom. And then we just have a raider, a dedicated transport, probably for Lilith. Um, the Archon is going to be my Warlord, which would be this one, the Agonizer. And he's going to have Hatred Eternal for his Warlord trait, which is out of the um, chapter approved. Which basically means he gets to reroll ones to hit and to wound, which is pretty nice. Um, combat drug wise, Lilith has got plus one attack. The Succubus has plus one toughness. This unit has plus one weapon skill. This one has plus one move. And this one has plus one uh, strength. Sorry, no, not strength. I forgot what it is. <laughs> ah, plus one leadership. There we go. So that comes in at 1997 points, and that is my Drakari list. Alright, guys, slight amendment to the um, combat drugs. <laughs> I have wrote this down. She actually has plus one strength, Lilith, and that bat unit has plus one attack, not the ones I said originally. Um, so, yeah, that's it. 1997 of Drakari, Cabal and Witch Cult. Right guys, here we are with 2,000 points of Blood Angels. We are made up of three detachments. Uh, we have a Vanguard detachment, which is made up of this. We have a Spearhead and we have an Auxiliary Flyer. So how many command points do you actually have? 
have four after the auxiliary flyer, so not that many this time. Not that many to play with. Okay, that comes to not bringing any troops, really. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the Vanguard first. We have this absolutely beautiful conversion. So who's this, Chris? Uh, this will be Mephiston for the game. <laughs> Mephiston. Hopefully, uh, manifesting wings of Sanguinius. Otherwise, it's going to be a very slow flying eagle. <laughs> so we have said if he doesn't cast it, he's going to have to remove him. That's, that's the rules. It would be very sad. <laughs> I'm only kidding. So we, we lead him with first HQ is Mephiston, and then the second HQ is this lowly little lieutenant who's taken a beating by the looks of it but he's going to be helping everyone out get some reroll ones to wound and stuff like that uh, so then we've got two elite uh, three elite choices we've got this one which are actually a, a unit of 10 death company with bolters um, and then the second one is another unit of 10 but they have bolt pistols and chainsaws so hopefully they should be getting into combat doing plenty of attacks which would be very tasty and then the third unit we have a assault terminators so these aren't death company are they no, they're just uh, regular Terminator Assault Squad. They'll be deep striking in somewhere. That's very uh, cheeky. Yeah, one of the Death Company will be riding, riding in the Land Raider here, and uh, the other will be riding in the Rhino. In the Rhino. Yeah, so we've got a Land Raider Crusader with the Bolters and the Twin Assault Cannon. The Multi Melters isn't actually there, is it? No, it's, but it's, it's the, just it, a little bit too expensive. Is the Storm Bolter there? Yes, the Storm cool. Bolter. So that, this is out of ammo, but this hasn't, so we're all right. Uh, so then the second detachment, we've got um, a Spearhead, we, led by a Captain. And he's just standard loadout, bolter and a uh, chainsaw. Right. And then we have three Baal Predators, uh, all with twin assault cannons and uh, heavy bolter sponsons, which are looking very cool. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Storm Raven with twin assault cannons and multi melter. That is right. And um, Storm Strike missiles on the wings. Right, okay, cool. So that is, how many points is that? Is it 2,000 on the nose? Yes, 2,000 points. Bang on, 2,000 points. Are you feeling confident against Dan's army? Uh, if I can catch any of them, then <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> but how would I do that to be tricky? Yeah, so let's have a look at deployment now, guys. So as a quick side note, uh, Mephiston's Warlord trait is actually uh, Speed of the Primarch, so you can always choose the uh, Mephiston to fight first in the fight phase, even if he didn't charge, which is very good. He's very good. And his Psychic Powers, we have Quickening, um, which is a very cheeky walk charge 7, add 3 to the advance and charge rolls, and make D3 additional attacks, which is very, very good. Uh, we have Blood Boil, which is what va charge value of six. Uh, select an invisible enemy unit within six to second roll 2d6. If you exceed the toughness, it takes d3 mortal wounds. It's very nice. It's a cheeky one, that one. It's very good. And then uh, Wings of Sanguinius, of course. Warp charge five, everyone knows this one. Turns him into a flyer. Turns him into an, um, an absolute monster to f for getting into combat. So, Blood Angels, turn one, coming up. And before we go, we ha do have the Relic. This is a new codex, we're still getting used to it. Yep, to make me make most of the uh, few command points I have, uh, each time I use the strategy on a 5 plus, I can get the command point back. Okay, so it's the uh, Veritas Vitae. So who's holding this? Uh, that will be my captain. Your captain, okay, cool. So, turn one, coming up. So guys, the mission today, we are playing Frontline Warfare, which is mission one from chapter approved of Eternal War. Basically, the mission is there is four objectives. There is one in each deployment zone and uh, two in the middle. If you hold the one in your own deployment zone, you score one point at the end of the game. If you hold the two in the middle, you have the two points each. And the one in your opponent's deployment zone is worth four. So it's kind of like you've got to swap sides whilst also holding your own objective. It's a very, I've very actually played this mission before because I've played it in a couple of tournaments. It's a very fun mission. So we'll see how they get on. The deployment today is going to be Vanguard Strike, so it's corner. So it is going to be quite interesting.
Okay guys, that was the lay of the land. So just a quick run over, we do have four objectives. We've got this one here. Uh, there's one here, here, and here. So for each player, if, you're, if it's in your own deployment zone, it's worth one. So for Chris, this is worth one. Um, if the two in the middle are both worth two VPs at the end of the game, and the one in the opponent's deployment zone is worth four. So it's the opposite for Dan. For Dan, that one's worth one, and this one's worth four. So um, we, obviously we've gone for a Vanguard strike deployment. So starting with Chris's deployment, we've got like a, basically a line of armor backed up by the, the Mephiston himself. So what we've got with the, the Land Raider Crusader with the Choppy Death Company? Yes, I've got the Choppy Death Company and the Lieutenant. And the Lieutenant in there, okay. And then uh, in this one, we've got the Shooty Death Company. And then we've got Mephiston. And then three Bal Predators with the Captain. And the Storm Raven. And the Terminators are in Deep Strike Reserve? That's right. Cool. Nice and easy. So for Dan, I've got no idea. He's just got loads of gu gunships that I don't know what to do. Lots of Venoms. So we've got the Dark Lands unit in that Venom. Yep. What's in this Raider? That's got Lilith. Succubus and the unit of witches, isn't it? Okay, Lilith, Succubus and the unit of witches. Yep. Uh, this one is just... Is one with the blaster. Okay, and then this one's got witches. Yep, that one's got witches. That one's got witches? No, nope, that one's empty. That's empty? Yep. Well, there's, there's someone stood on the side. Yeah, it's empty. <laughs> and we've got Slith and the Archon just, just rocking it. Just, just, chilling, just chilling with that objective. We've got the Razor Wing. Is it the Razor? Oh, it's a Void Raven Bomber, that one, isn't it? And then we've got um, this one. Warriors. Just Warriors? Yeah. yeah. Warriors with Blaster and Witches. And Witches, okay. So, Chris, you actually set up first. Um, so, would you like to roll to see if you get the first turn? So, you get plus one on this. So, you actually get a five. So, Dan, can you match it or beat it? I get a six. He gets a six, so Dan does have first turn. So, try and see Would you like to go for it? So, on a six, you get the first turn instead? He does get the six. Well done, Chris. So, Blood Angels, turn one, coming up. So that is the end of the Blood Angels movement phase. Basically, the tanks have, have like stayed together and just trundled forward. So we've got the Land Raider has the, the Lieutenant has jumped out, and uh, the Land Raider has kind of just shuffled forward. The Rhino with the Death Company has just moved forward a little bit, and all the Bal Predators have just just trundled just to get because everything's 24 inch range except for the uh, Bolters. They've kind of just got in range of all the Venoms, and we're going to see what we can do. The uh, Storm Raven has moved just up on the right flank. And then the Terminators have just dropped in. Um, what was it? What was the, the phrase you used? I have no strategical reserves. <laughs> Something uh, like that. <laughs> Go for first turn charge and fail. Spectacular, I imagine. Exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. It's the perfect way to play 40k. And then uh, Mephiston has just uh, slowly walked forward. Not quite flying yet. No. Just having a break. Still, still pecking, pecking at the seeds at the minute. Is, yeah. So no, there's no... Great walking eagle. <laughs> so there's no psychic phase either. So let's go into Blood Angel shooting phase turn one. So first shooting phase, this Bal Predator opened up at this Venom and did three wounds, which is very nice. And then these two did not like the look of that one that stood there, so absolutely battered it and uh, killed it. Didn't blow up, but that does give Chris first strike. So let's see what else he can do. So the Storm Raven is firing, it's uh, Twin Assault Cannon at the first Venom, did you say? Yep. And then Multi Melter at the second Venom, and then Storm Strike Missiles at that guy over there. Guy. So do you want to start with the missiles first? Okay, missiles, force to hit. Yeah. One hit. We've got one hit there. Yeah. And three. Three to six. Yeah. Three to wound. Cox, where we all it? Oh, it doesn't oh, wound. No. Ooh. Survive. Right. So the nearest venom. Yep. That's forced to hit on this one. Forced to hit. Forced to hit because of minus one from the venom itself. Yep, from the flicker fields. And then four wounds at minus one. So five being vulnerable. Nice, Jesus. one wound. Jesus. Multi melter. Here we go. Twin multi melter. Yeah, nothing doing yeah. that. <laughs> Never mind. Miss, it would have been a hit, but obviously the Venoms have a natural minus one to hit. Yeah. So is any of your shooting? That's the end of my shooting. Okay. Wow. I survived. <laughs> you survived the shooting. So, um, do you want to... Chris, do you have any charges? 
I think I've got just the one charging. Just the one. <laughs> Who are they charging at? They'll be charging at the nearest Venom there. Should be so this one. This one. Yes. Okay, well, let's get the Overwatch ready. So this Venom is going to Overwatch into the Terminator Assault Squad. So what are we starting with? Um, it's just all, all, this, all poison. poison. Yeah, Go it's for all it. Poison. So um, hit in on six, obviously. No, not at all. Nothing. Okay, so nine inch. Here goes. He got it. <laughs> it's a very cheeky. Let's go. So the Terminators have charged into this Venom. Looks like they're kind of trying to pull the other ones into combat, I guess. But um, pile in next. So the Terminator Squad are attacking the Venom. We're starting with the Thunder Hammers first. So seven attacks, hitting on threes. So not bad, not bad. Um, wounded on threes, I believe? Nope, you're wounded on twos. Yeah, so red 30, it would be threes, but it adds one. So that is five wounds, it is dead. <laughs> does it blow up, Dan? Hopefully, this will be funny. No. It does not blow up. Uh, it's inside. Nope. And they're uh, all okay. Up. Okay, so they have just jumped out there. So, Dan, have you got any units within one inch? Yeah, this one. Might Go for take it. A, take a free swing. Yep, so, so two attacks. Hitting on fours, it's a venom. No, nothing. nothing. Cool, so that is the end of the combat. Do you have any morale checks to take? Nope, because they're leadership seven. They're leadership seven, so they're the last one. They can't fail. Yep. They can't fail either. Nope, well, so, well. not a bad turn, Chris. You've actually, you've, you know, killed a couple of units. I could be worse. I've not taken any casualties yet. No casualties yet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you weather the poison fire? What, on vehicles? <laughs> this is true. <laughs> so... Terminator Assault Squad can. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Dark Angels turn one coming up. Dark Eldar, Drakari, Fairies, Dark Fairies coming up. Doki Doki. Why is this happening? Why me? I give and give and give, and this is how I'm repaid. Why? Okay, so we're actually at the other side of the board. It's like it's like movie magic. So this is the Dark Eldar movement. We've got the uh, Razorwing uh, bomber has just flown over here. Void Raven. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this thing has flown there. We've got the Venoms have kind of all trundled forwards. The Slith and the Archon uh, with the Witches are kind of looking at those Terminators and being like, you guys are way too come, close. Come at me, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, so the uh, the two Raiders have moved up. This one ha does have the Archon in. He is riding right at the front true in true pirate style. Of course he is. And this Venom is being very cheeky and can see... Land Raiders and Tanks Galore. So this is the one with the Dark Lanterns in. This is the one that Dan is going to be relying on this game. So, shooting phase mm -hmm. coming up. Okay, so Dan shooting phase. All of the Venoms, except for which one? Which one hasn't shot yet? This one, isn't it? This one. So all of the Venoms have opened up at the Terminators and only killed three of them with all those poison yeah. shots. Like, poison is good. But against a two-up save... <laughs> that's, and, that's, and, that's quite well. That's and quite well. Faith of the Emperor, yeah. you've only killed three. That's quite, so quite well. It is quite good to be fair. So, uh, obviously, this one hasn't shot yet, but we've also got the Void Raven and all the Dark Lancers left. Dark Lancers shot, yeah. So, what are we doing with the Void Raven? So, the Void Raven is going to fire its um, Shatterfield missiles into the Terminators. Okay. Um, and then we're going to fire the two Void Lancers into the Rhine. Okay, let's go with that. Yep. Go for it. So, D6 shots from uh, the missiles. Six, six shots. nice. Big one. Oh, I've got six now. So, so is it, what is it to hit? Hitting on threes. Okay. So one missed. Yep, and it's strength seven, so wounding on threes, but re-rolling the wounds. Nice, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's, yeah, it yeah to be. you'd need it. <laughs> oh, Dan, it's your dice. Three, but it's at minus one, mate, so you so it's storm shields anyway. Three, three up yeah. saves. Um, oh my god. Well, three <laughs> failed. One damage, one. It's one, um, one damage. One, one down to one. Take that, man. Just the sergeant left. So okay, just okay. the sergeant left. Okay. Right, and then the two Void Lancers over at the... Uh, at the Rhino? At the Rhino. Okay. So, threes to hit. Two, two hits. hits. Strength. strength nine. Okay, so threes to wound. Threes to wound. Minus. Minus four. So Minus I'm four. I'm going to re-roll that one. Then okay. Come on, point. point spent. So, oh, dear. So how much damage so is it? D6. Because it's going to be minus four, so you, you wouldn't have any save there, sadly. Roll on the table. Two. Two, so two wounds. Yeah. 
So two wounds against the rhino. So what's next, Dan? Um, dark lance from Lilith's raider. From this the, raider uh, into rhino. the rhino. Yep. So hitting on three because you forgot that last time. <laughs> it becomes assault on a raider chassis. <laughs> it's a terrible rule. It's a terrible rule. Um, three eight eight again. So threes. Say. Does not wound, and, and the I've command point is gone. Um, five pistols into the last into the last terminator. Here he goes. Two. <laughs> Fours. Fours. Two wounds, I mean. Two. Two ups. Loves it. He loves it. He loves it. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Next. Any more dark lancers? Yeah, this dark lance. This we'll fire lance. into the rhino. Into the rhino. You don't like that rhino, do you? No. It's only taking two wounds, you know. That's fine. It's got eight left. Can you do it? I can do it. I've got more dark lancers. I don't and then believe we've it. got the Parasite's Kiss, which is the new uh, chapter proof relic into him. Okay. From so the dude. The, the nice, tasty gun. Yeah. So do I need dark lance first? Yeah, I'm just going to check whether his thing is. It's only in the five favorite ones. One or two. Okay. So, dark lance into the rhino. Hit on threes. Obviously. <laughs> and then. Um, <laughs> Kiss. Parasite's kiss. I think it's actually two shots. Yep, yeah, pistol two. Pistol two, Hitting so two shots. Two hits. Yep, yeah, wounding on two. Wounding on two, so it's a very special poison. It's yeah. minus one and two damage it's each. Minus two. Minus two and two damage each. Very tasty. So two wounds. Two wounds, so two three up invulnerables. Come on. And he does pass both. And Shields if, do not if care for gone kisses. Through, I'd have healed the wounds back. Yeah, so you, you kind of drain the yeah. opponent, which is cool. Okay, any more Dark Lancers? Yeah. Is it just these two left? It is just them two left, because I don't have the range and I can't see him. Okay, so what so are these two going into? Two Dark Lancers into that Rhino. Into that Rhino again. Yep. Here he goes. These are from the unit, though, because he's obviously not on the ground. One, One hit. hit. Uh, Threes. Threes. One wound. wound. No save. So D6 damage. Six damage. Five. It's five wounds. That is quite tasty. So he's down to three now. Yeah. It's got ten all together. So, Dan, is that at the end of your shooting phase? That is in my shooting phase. Did you kill enough that you wanted to? Oh no, to? sorry, no. I've no? this one to go. You have got this Venom. So... You did say that you were going to save that yeah, one to kill I'm everything that came out of that. So I'm going to have to do all the poison. <laughs> into that one Terminator. And blaster up there. So the we'll do the blaster shot. Blast into the Rhino. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, Can you imagine if these got hot, blasters. Dan? Yeah, Can you imagine? <laughs> my army would be dead. <laughs> be like, like nope. Guns. They're just terrible. They're they just literally terrible. are like melter guns, because that's all they do. Isn't Mul multi missile multi guns. Multi-missile guns. Cool. Right, I've got a lot of poison shots here. 20 poison shots 20 into poison that shot. one Terminator. Here he goes. Hitting on threes. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It's, it he's gonna be. be fine. He is honestly gonna be fine. I did only miss three times though. Yeah, but what about wounding then? Need fours, mate. Fours to wound. I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say five. Five? I'm four, not far three, off. Two, three, four. <laughs> Six. <five. laughs> Six two up saves, Chris. And he oh, does fail. Oh, that is first strike to Dan. Never mind. Oh, charge, Good effort. <laughs> so is there anyone? I don't think there is any there's, charges, is there now? Uh, I could do. You could charge with an like an eleven inch charge into the yeah. Rhino. Just remember how dangerous storm bolts. It does have yeah. on a storm bolt at Overwatching with two shots, uh, four shots because it's rapid firing. Does. The temptation yeah. is real. I know. I'm, I'm really tempted to. Um, charge that but it can fire something now. No, that's it. Okay, so that is the end of Dan's turn. Uh, Chris has no morale checks to do. Uh, the only point we scored was first strike. Mm -hmm. Did you do everything you wanted to there, Dan? No, that rhino <laughs> is still alive. <laughs> that rhino is still alive. I killed Terminator, which is quite a good poison. Yeah. He like, took an entire army, but yep. it happened. Just. <laughs> so, that is the end of battle round one. Mm. Battle round two, Blood Angels, coming up. End of the Blood Angels movement phase, we have uh, this Battle Predator hasn't moved, but these two have kind of shuffled forward with the Captain Lieutenant. Mephiston is kind of coming to the middle of them, kind of thinking about uh, taking flight this turn, I believe. Uh, the Land Raider Crusader has trundled forwards. Um, the Rhino, um, 
let out all the Def Company. They're looking very angry at those Raiders and Venoms in particular. They're like, dude, this is my box. Stop shooting it. <laughs> Stop shooting my box, and then the Rhino has kind of just jumped along here, and the Storm Raven has done a flyby past the uh, Void Raven, and hopefully, I got, right. I got it right for the first time. So we're going to go straight into the Psychic phase. So Chris, what would you like to cast with Mephiston? Yeah, of course you are. So Warp Charge Five. Oh. That's a perils. And perils. Excellent. Um, would you like to use any command points? I'm use a command point, I think. Okay, so. go for it. So you need a four or more. <laughs> the perils again. Still perils. Do I get the command Eagles. point back, on, on a fire off, I get the yeah. command point from the... Go for it. And I don't. No. So, so it turns out Mephiston's eagle does D3, not know how to do magic. D3 mortal wounds? Just no, one. Right. Not too bad. We'll not too <laughs> bad. So never mind. Would you like to cast any more psychic powers? Or any more in range? I'm not even sure. Uh, I might be able to get smite off. It was basically smite pla team. planning on getting yeah. wings so he could get right in there. Yeah. yeah. So you can get cheeky smite? Yeah. So, what charge five? Here goes. Yeah. It's I seven. Know, I was the perils, <laughs> so, so, D3 mortal wounds. Yep. Does so two. two down, down to two wounds. So, it's the end of the psychic phase? Yeah, the end of the <laughs> <laughs> so, shooting phase coming up. So, in the shooting phase, the three ball predators have kind of opened up at the uh, Void Raven bomber and left it on one wound. Mm -hmm. So, it is very close to death. The Storm Raven has been chipping away at this uh, Venom over here with the Dark Lancers in. Left that on three wounds. Is much else going on? No. Nope. Nope. Anything is trying to take down that plane. Does it do not like that plane? So what? So Assault Cannon from the Land Raider is going into it? Yes. Trying to finish it off. So twin Assault Cannon from the Land Raider. Yep. Uh, Revolving ones for missing for the... For the Captain? Yes, for the Captain. Uh, not unless it does anything as usual. <laughs> forced to hit. Yep. Forced to hit for the power of the machine. Ooh, spin. dear. Then forced to wound. Three rolling ones for the lieutenant. Three. So three wounds three. at minus one. Five thin ones. Nice. And it is dead. Does it blow up? Probably. Yeah. It does blow up. Yeah. So it is uh, six inches, but D3 model wounds. So Dan is going to rely on the command point. Yeah. And he's fine. So he does just remove. All the bolters are going into the raider, the uh, hurricane bolters and the storm bolter. So we'll just get all the dice ready. So 26 bolter shots, uh, the two hurricane bolters rapid firing, and yeah, the storm bolter. Threes, Hitting yeah, on three, three rolling ones. Oh my God. That is plenty. That is ridiculous. Did you miss three times? <laughs> three misses. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, five two wounds. Okay. The harder part. Re rolling ones. Re rolling ones. Here it goes. That is plenty again. Um, and re rolling ones again. There's another one there. Oh, so there is. Too many dice. <laughs> and they, they all transfer into wounds. How many wounds is that? We have 11 wounds. 11 wounds, Dan, on that Raider. What, what's your save? Threes? No, fours. Fours on the Raider. One, two, three, four. Okay, four wounds? Four wounds. Four Not wounds. too bad from, the, from, from an anti-infantry uh, weapon. Very good. So the Death Company with their bolters are going to rapid fire, so they're going to do uh, four of them into the Witchers, so that's eight shots, and then the other um, six. six are going to shoot into that one, so that is another 12 shots into there. Okay, so into the Witchers, we have seven hits. Yep. Not too bad. Three's to wound, mate. Three's to wound. All that's wound. So seven. seven saves. Seven. So, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So sixes. Sixes. Followed by sixes. Uh, combat yeah. drugs, power from pain. Nah, they died. Oh, they are all dead. So the bolt is at the Raider from the Death Company. So that's... Uh, that's not too bad, not too bad. And then fives to wound. Fives. Two right, wounds. Just the two wounds. Okay, four ups. Just re that one. It's cocked. Ah, they're both passed. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Dan's army is taking an absolute beat in this turn. However, charge phase, these tasty Death Company are going to go into the two Raiders and the Venom. Yeah, all at the same time. So Dan, would you like to overwatch? Yeah, these are just the poison shots and so two cannons. All poison shots, hitting on sixes. Nice, five hits. I need fours. Fours to wound. Fours. That right. Four wounds. Four wounds, no so four three either. plus saves. So, so one dies. Uh, two black rage saves. Oh, black rage oh, on yeah. a six, of course. What's no. <laughs> uh, I'll one roll dead. the two dark lancers together. Two dark lancers hitting on sixes. Nope. nope. So, any more Overwatch? No, nope, that's it. Okay, so Chris, you need two inches to get into this one, three inches to get into this one, and seven to get into that one. So, we'll see what you get. 
it's a six so you won't be able to get this one but you do get those two quite happily so the first guys this is how they've um, uh, got into combat so one two how many going into this one is it six uh, yes we've got six. six there so 18 attacks 18 attacks Sitting on threes and wounding on it would be fives because of black uh, red thirst you're actually wounding on fours because you get add, you add one to it so we have we've got five wounds five, five wounds, wounds. Four upon six. Takes one. Takes one wound. Down to five. So then the other nine attacks from these three dudes at the uh, Venom. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Forced to wound again. Yeah. Two yeah. wounds. Yeah. If he fails no. in both, it is dead. Four ups. No. Oh, he fails no. one, so leaves it on one wound. That is a shame. That is a shame. Um, I'll hit you back. It's not the most over one. So that is the lay of the land, so Dan is going to strike back with the Venom and the Raider both together because it doesn't yep. really matter. So three from the Raider, two from the Venom. Yep. Uh, hitting our on fours. Because they're actually not going in combat. Well, that they are. Two. Uh, strength four. So wounding on fours. One, one and minus one for the blade means. Ah, he's passed it. Cool. So that is the end of the combat phase. Yeah. Are there any morale th checks nope. to be made? Because everything died. <laughs> the best way to ignore morale. <laughs> So that, is the <laughs> so that is the end of the Blood Angel's turn. Um, it's looking looking bad for the Dark Eldar. Not everything's got out of its vehicles yet, though. Not everything. There is a lot still There's in transport. Lot of stuff to get out. <laughs> so. Please be taking out the plane. Yeah, the plane. The plane was scary. Yeah, yeah the, the plane being gone, especially with its, with its bombs that it hadn't dropped. Um, it could have done a lot of damage to the Death Company and the ones that are still in the Land Raider. Yeah. So that is the end of uh, Blood Angel's turn two. Drakari, turn two, coming up. So that is the end of the Dark Eldar uh, movement phase turn two, and Dan has decided to retreat. Yep. He's thought, I don't want that objective that's worth four points over there. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you do have the movement, to be fair. Yep. So everything's just kind of pulled back. Obviously, the raiders have jumped out um, out of combat. They can still shoot because they do have the fly keyword. All the venoms have just pulled back a little bit and thinking, well, poison is very good against death company. <laughs> Turns out, good flesh. nothing yeah. against, not really good against land raiders or rhinos. Dartlanders aren't very good against the rhinos either, are they? Dartlanders are crap. <laughs> <laughs> so everything's just pulling back, kind of making a bit of a gun gun wall, try and take out those death company, try and Poison. try and kill a couple of tanks before they start wrecking face again. Yep. So shooting phase coming up. Okay, so Drakari turn two shooting phase, and this g appears to be less Death Company than they were a minute ago. They just, they've just died in a pool of poison, that's one of them. Turns out poison's good against infantry. Literally sure that everything shot at it. <laughs> everything has shot at the Death Company, left them with two left. Um, you've done a wound to the uh, Storm Raven? Yeah, with a grenade. With a grenade, very cheeky. <laughs> very, very cheeky. <laughs> So, Dan, what have you got left to shoot? Um, the heavy weapons. So heavy weapons. This Raider and the Raider? Farsight's Kiss. We've got two Dark Lancers in there. I'm actually going to shoot up everything at it, so the two blasters. Everything at the Storm, at the Storm, Raven. Storm Raven. Okay. That Dark Lancer has already shot and completely missed. So. Missed that Rhino. Yeah, so it's just these two, basically. <laughs> what, what is it with you and Dark Lancers and no, not hitting Rhinos? No, it was at the Land Raider. Terrible. You know. Terrible. I'm in that. Can't do anything <laughs> with that. So... What I'm going to do is fire this up at here. Everything's going to fire at the Into the angry bird. <laughs> yeah, into the angry bird. The problem is, if it blows up, it's killing oh, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, Chris is not going to re-roll that blow up if he gets a six. He's yeah. probably going to try and I get a six. It, get a six. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make sure he gets the six. Yeah, so my choices are, do I blow, try and blow a land raider up? Or do I try and blow that up, but I'm minus him one to hit it. So. Mm, it is going to rain fire. It's going to rain fire. So what are you going to do? Come on, you've had a minute shoot to talk the land raider. So Shoot the land raider, yeah. you uh, The parasite's <laughs> kiss is going to go into that. Okay, so parasite's so kiss first. first. Hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. Yep. Hits. Wounding on twos. Yep. Minus, minus two, two. Two damage. So it's a five up save, which he fails. Black two rage. six ups for black rage. No, still nope. haven't made one of those yet. I heal two <laughs> wounds, but... He's not taking anyone any. I anyway. I actually shot another shot, but... Never mind. 
Yeah, because it could kill the other guy. All right, go. It doesn't wound. Doesn't though. wound. Well, obviously, because you remember the rule, it didn't work. Terrible. Dark lance at the land raider. Go for it. So threes to hit. Oh my god. I missed that, <laughs> but Dan laughed and Chris said, oh my god. So it's probably a miss. <laughs> two, um, right, so we've got two dark lances at that. I have to put the um, blasters from there into that. Cause okay, so two dark lances at the land raider, yeah. two blasters at the raven. Yeah, and the poison shots at that as well. You may as well. So I'll do the uh, dark lances. Dark lances, hit on threes. One actually hit. One hit. Oh. Only on fours, though. It's no wound. Obviously. Uh, Any command points been spent this yeah, turn? Yeah, as well. Command point. Command point! Yeah. No, it's a one. <laughs> Terrible. Two blasters. Two blasters hitting on fours. One yeah. hit. Ooh. Ooh. Wounding on. Four. Uh, threes. 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 One Minus wound. Four on that one, though, mate. So, yeah, uh, D3 damage. D3. One. one wound. Down to 12. And then we've got. If I can find it. Man with a rifle. I'll do all the point shots together, actually. Nope. I can't do it. 12. Beautiful. <laughs> poison. This is going to bring it down. Poison. How many wounds have it got? 12? It's got 12. You can do it. I can do how it. many poison shots you got, Dan? 13. We'll be back in a second. Okay, so how many shots? 13. 13 with 12 wounds, hitting on fours. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is not a good start. <laughs> See, normally that would be not a bad... One more there. Right. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. Sixers. Sixers. No. Nothing. <laughs> Nada. Nada thing. Nada. Anything left, Dan? Or is that everything? That's everything to shoot. Okay. Um, do you feel like you did well? No. <laughs> <laughs> Any combats, my friend? Um, yeah, that's going to charge in there because... What's going to charge where? The Raider's going to charge the Rhino. The Raider's going to charge the Rhino. Would you like to overwatch, Chris, oh, with yeah. your four Storm Bolter shots? Nope, never mind. I mean, you, you would have got six if you added them together, but never mind. I mean... Cool. So you're going to do, like, three attacks against the Rhino? Three attacks against the Rhino, but one is with a um, Shock Prow. A Shock Prow, okay. So, so I'll come around there and let's have a look. Okay, so shock prow first. Yep, so hitting on a three, uh, four plus. Hits. Four. It's strength six because it uses its own strength. Okay, so wounding on fives. It does not wound. Cool. And then two normal uh, blade vein attacks. They two both hits, hit. nice. Uh, wounding on fives. fives to wound. One, one wound. Minus one. one wound at minus one, so four up. Uh, it's failed. Yep, How much damage? Two. One. Just one. one. So it's got two wounds left. So my attack's back. Your attack's back. D3. D3. Three. three attacks, hitting on sixes. No hits. <laughs> so, Dan, is the, at the end of your turn? Yeah, nothing else to charge. Did that go okay? Yeah. I don't think it did. No. <laughs> we do have a morale check. You have a death company at I minus nine know. leadership. So, D6 plus two casualties, you lose six models. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Death company do not have a sergeant. They are only leadership seven, obviously, because they were like eight or nine in the unit left. Yeah. So. I think they used to be nine in the old codex as well. Yeah, well, they so used to be fearless, didn't they? they did used to be fearless, but never mind. So that is the end of Drakari turn two. We're going on to turn three. Chris, are you feeling confident? It's going okay it, so far. It's going okay. Provided you keep on rolling the Dark Lancers mm. like you uh, did before. Something should, <laughs> should, something should get Dark Lancers soon. <laughs> <laughs> turn three coming up, guys. There you go. The Blood Angels have charged towards his pointy venoms. You heard it here first. <laughs> so Storm Raven has kind of whipped back and done a 90 degree turn and has come towards his deployment. Doesn't want to fly off the edge of the board, which he was very uh, close to doing. Uh, all the battle predators have, again, just trundled forward, just staying just, just in 24 inches, so they're out of the way of the venoms and being able to shoot them with all the assault cannons. Uh, Mephiston and friends have, have jumped forward. Hopefully Mephiston is going to be able to jump straight over that building and actually do something this turn. Um, if not, he's, he's, he's quite happy, sat behind the Land Raider, hiding. <laughs> so, Psychic Phase. Okay, Wings of Sanguinius. This Wings of Sanguinius. Not double one this time. He that does get it on a six. So, Mephiston gets to make a free move, move, movement 12, with Fly. The Eagles have landed. <laughs> okay, and we're now going to go for Blood Boil. Blood Boil. So, what does Blood Boil do? It's a six. Um, it's... Within six inch uh, range, mm -hmm. might be a seven. But I have to check the roll if, if I have to. Roll well, roll it, see what we get. If it's less than five or six, then 
So five, I don't think it does go off. What charge is it? No. Is it warp charge no, six? It's warp charge six, yeah. Oh, well. Any re-rolls? Are you not bothered? No, I think the points are too precious when I've only got three of them left. <laughs> okay, so Blood Angel shooting phase coming up. Okay, so the Storm Raven is opening up the shooting phase. We've got the Multi Melters versus the Raider, yep. uh, the Assault Cannons versus this Venom, yep. and then the Storm Striker, that Venom there. Yes. Yep. Okay, so okay. Multi Melters first. Uh, yeah, so you're hitting on uh, threes normally because you've not managed to hit all. Okay. So Two three, hits, three, strength three. eight, so threes. One wound. Uh, five up in one. Five up in one. It makes it on the six. It Sorry, does make it. It's all right. It's all right. The Storm Strikes. I'll come on here. Yeah. So two storm strikes at the other, the venom. Uh, so one hit because you're on minus yeah. one. Threes. Nope. No wounds. So then assault cannon at this venom with the dark lance in the back. So twelve shots hitting on fours. That's five, of them. five. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, uh, threes to wound. So two wounds at minus one. Okay. So five invulnerables. Uh, one, one so wound. Down to two. Down to two. Could have been worse. So the Bile Predator opened fire against the Raider and it does kill it and it does blow up. So what is the damage oh, for it, Dan? Six inches, actually. Six three. inches and it's D3 damage. Yeah. So who's in, in range? Just that. Just that Venom? Yeah, just that Venom. Are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna get blow up? I might just command point it to be honest. You're gonna command point it? Yeah. Command point spec? No, he's alright. So the Raider removed How, who's inside? Incubi uh, and the Archon. Ten models in it. Wow. So he's incubi. Nine incubi and the Archon. No, eight incubi, the archon, and the slith. And the slith, okay. So, no, so any ones? These are my badass ones. Oh, good. No, nope, you're good. So the Land Raider twin assault cannon opened up at the Venom with the yeah. Dark Lancers in, the Trueborn, and actually blew it up and killed a couple, which is kind of tasty. Very tasty. So what's next? Uh, next we'll have... Um, a storm bolter trying to take the last point off that. A storm bolter at this venom. I'm definitely yes. filming that. Let's go. Okay. Hitting on fours. One hit. One hit. It's enough. No. No wound. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. And ready, Crusader shot one of its uh, hurricane bolters into there and did uh, two wounds, and then the other one shot the unit in cover and absolutely destroyed them. Okay, so this Bile Predator is going to open up uh, one Assault Cannon at this one, one Hurricane Bolt there because he's on one wound and one Hurricane Bolt. Sorry, that was on two wounds and then another one here because that's on one wound. So Assault Cannon first. Fives. Threes. Two uh, wounds two. at minus one. Uh, this one, that one. No, at the, at the one with the four wounds. One. Five wounds? Nope. Two wounds down to two. So Heavy Bolt at the furthest, uh, the one with two wounds left. Nothing, because you did move, so it is fives to hit. Um, and then the next one. Ooh, this is the three one. hits. He's only got one wound. Fours. One, one wound. One wound. Uh, which one, sorry? This one. one. Five up in one. Is that going to be in range? Uh, it's 36 inch, dude. Yeah. Oh, is it heavy bolt? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. And it does fail. Does he blow up? I give, I give, I give. And this is how I repay him. Why? Should we just call it now? <laughs> That's literally, literally it's in my entire... Take so wound. every unit within six takes one mortal wound. One. So both Venoms... Uh, he both. doesn't get power from pain. So he's down to two. He's down to two already. The Archon. That's um, a six up save. Six up save. Nope. nope. So, so you can roll sixes for explosions but not for four. saves. No, I can't roll sixes at all. <laughs> Down to four. He's down to four. Um, the, uh, this Archon? Yeah. Get another dice. So the other Archon. One of six. Yeah, he, he does serious. fine. The Slith takes Slith. a wound. Oh, I just takes a wound. Yeah, and then, is that everybody? Oh, is it the Incubi? No, are they in range? No, the Incubi. No, okay, so that is everybody. Nope. And the guys in. That one takes a wound as well, so it's down to five. Down to five. And then the guys inside? Do any of them die? Let's find out. One and one. No, we're No, so they're going to disembark as normal. So now this Bile Predator uh, is going to open up. So the twin assault cannons at this uh, Venom and then the two heavy bolters at the far one. This one has one wound, the far one has two. So assault cannons first. Hit on fives. Hit on fives. With re-rolling ones. No we didn't roll any. And that's three wounds. Three wounds at minus one. Oh, that one yet. On the Are first one. Ones? Nope. Does it, does, does it blow up? No, it does not. Five winning inside that one. Five ladies. They'll get out, alright. Yeah, right. And then heavy bolts against the next one. 
that's re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones, so one hit currently. One hit, it's not enough. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, re-rolling ones to wound, because you're within six oh, yeah. of the lieutenant. That's true. Uh, one wound. One wound, <laughs> one wound against a venom at the back. Minus one. And it does fail that as well, so it's down to one. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Um, yeah, Dan, where, where did all your venoms go? Um, I, blew them up, I blew them up myself. <laughs> <laughs> Everything around him. Everything's been just got blown up and blown up and blown up. So, uh, combat phase, well, charge phase now. Mephiston on his eagle. He's flying high, but he's coming down for the swooping attack against the raider. 2d6 charge. <laughs> and and, well, and re-rolling. <laughs> um, so, yeah, he needed like he's two inch. Yeah. He's, you know, he's a bird. He can keep going in and attacking and swooping in. So, let's double check how many attacks he gets. <laughs> so, Mephiston strikes, he has uh, Mephiston's sword, so what strength is he? It's uh, strength 10 with a sanguine Strength sword. 10, nice. Four attacks. Uh, Hitting on twos. On twos. Yep. All hit. Yep, so that's Freeze. wounded on twos. It's, it's wounded, wounded two on twos, yeah. And also he gets plus one because of the red thirst. So wounded on ones, but ones fail. Yep. Yeah. So four wounds. Yeah, it's d3 damage each, yep. so. Uh, oh nice, God, 10 wounds. So the, the, yeah. oh, guess what? Does it? Think I've got? <laughs> Has he got 10 on He's the dot? <laughs> <laughs> Does he blow up? No. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's that would have been brilliant. Up, really. <laughs> so you finally wow. you feed up the rhino, which is good. Yes. So a very decent turn, Chris. Yes. Seven. <laughs> more ladies. Than oh, there's ladies inside, and two of them die. Dan, these ones, man, get rid of them. Scrub um, them off. Get, get a bit of a bit of washing up liquid. Get a, a pan scourer. Just scrub off the ones. You'll be fine. Oh, he's a character, isn't it? <laughs> he is a character. He's gonna die. <laughs> I forgot that they had things in them. <laughs> yeah, so did I. Okay, that is the end of the Blood Angels' turn. Um, Dan, you've got your work cut out for you now, mate. It is turn three. I've got poison guns against the armor. <laughs> <laughs> get him in combat. Stop him shooting. Come on now. So, Drakari, movement phase, turn three, coming up. So this is the lay of the land for the Dark Eldar. So the Venom has moved up, all the Witches have kind of just trundled forwards with the Slith, the Archon, the other Archon, the other Slith, and the Incubi are looking like they need blood. They need Angels. <laughs> they need something. Yep, the Witches have pulled round behind Mephiston, looking like, Dan, are you going to finally start locking up some tanks in combat? I'm going to finally get Lilith in combat, she died every time I tried to use it. <laughs> Mephiston's eagle is looking like a tasty, tasty target. So, so I didn't actually see that there was a Venom behind here, and the closest model is that Captain. So, everything into the Captain. Shoot the Captain, fam. Go for it, it's what's first. Yeah, all poison. That's all, all it is. poison. There's nothing in that one. So five hits. Need them to wound fours. Uh, make us three, mate. Three saves. All passed. All good. That was that it. From that one. <laughs> Is that the end of the shooting phase? Oh no. Oh. <laughs> what's next, Dan? Um, we'll start over there. She's, this one is going to throw a dart light grenade into the rhino, mm -hmm. and the pistols are going to shoot into the rhino as well. You may as well. So I've got two wounds. So dart light grenade. Oops, gets four shots. Four shots. Hitting on threes. threes to hit. Any re-rolls? Or is it only in the fight phase only you get re-rolls? Okay. And fives. One, one minus one. One four up. It does take a wound, it's got one left. Pistol whipping. Pistol whippage, so just the uh, two. Just two pistols. Grenade. Two hits. And then sixes. Sixes. No. no, never mind. No. Anything uh, left? I've still got shots. I've got shots everywhere. You've got bare shots. I've got bare shots. <laughs> bare, bare shots. Right, so we're going to do, um, let's see if this blaster can do something, can it reach, can reach there, can this one reach, yeah. There's, a, there's obviously another unit there, there as well, yeah. that's the true bone, aren't they, with the dart lances? Yeah, with the dart lances. So what we'll do is we'll pop a... Epic explosion on there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll probably what'll happen as well. So what we are going to do actually, sorry, is we're going to start with just these witches, throw a dart light grenade into the um, land raider. One, one shot. shot. Hit on threes. 
Needing six, just because it's on four. No. Nope. And then four pistols. Two hits, hits. sixes. Nothing. Nothing. That's them. Um, That's the summary of your entire game so far, much, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> when you're shooting needles at vehicles, yeah, that's usually how it works, sadly. This one, he's going to fire his pistol into the round raider. It doesn't wound. Does it wound? Shard carbine. I'm concerned with all the in One hit, sixes. <laughs> Nothing. Um, so we're going to do blaster and rifles into that as well. Everything into the land raider. Yeah. Blaster first. It will miss. No, it, it does not. It hits. Forced to wound. Oh, we'll re-roll that. Let's cut that. Yeah. One uh, wound. Minus four, so you get six up. Maybe. Six up yeah. save. Nope. It does fail. D3 damage. Two, Two wounds. wounds. It's got like 14 on it. It's got, yeah, it's 14 left. 14. Yeah. And then pistols. Yeah, then rifles. Uh, right. Three's to hit for the rifles. Then, see you later, dude. Nope. So that's kit into the land raider. Uh, two hits. Knee six is still Sixes. Sixes. Nope. No wounds. Uh, so the rhino just died from the blaster and it does explode. I think I've got to say command point in that. You got a command point it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. Do we get the command point back? Do you get the command point back on a five? I no. Oh yeah, because my fist on stood there, isn't it? <laughs> my fist and the battle predators yeah, and the, ra and and the land, uh, land raider all there would take D6 mortal <laughs> wounds. Uh, yeah, and I think it would blow all my witches to pieces. It would <laughs> blow all your witches to pieces, to be fair. <laughs> So Dark is actually hitting on fours now. What are they shooting at? At the Land Raiders. At the Land Raiders. So fours to hit with Dark Lancers. One hit. I'm going to be... I'm just going to... Command point! For that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two hits. Jesus Christ. No, I'm not wounded. Need fours. Fours to wound. Oh. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> I would have wounded if I had command yeah. point at that one. Oh, well. Never mind. Uh, Anything right. left? Uh, or is that it for um, combat? I think that's it for shooting. Obviously shooting, yeah. So now it's combat. It is combat. Okay, let's see what you're going to charge. So, uh, combat phase, the Archon alone is charging the Land Raider currently. Yeah, mate. So, Overwatch from all the bolters. We have. Do you get to reroll one? Are oh, you no, just out of range, no, aren't no, you? I've missed a badly position on that side. So, so, four hits with the bolters. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this is where you need your... <laughs> he's so close to getting reroll ones to wound and reroll ones to hit, but he's just out of range. And the assault cannon. One hit. Oh, no wound. Oh That's my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can the archon make his charge? Hopefully, I can reroll this as well. Yeah, I think he's in. So now everything else is going to charge into the land raider. Yep. So okay, so we'll catch up in a second. So everything charged into the land raider. And it looks like Danny's doing a very cheeky move. Uh, basically, he's completely surrounded the Land Raider currently. So, one, the Land Raider can't disengage from combat because it can't drive through enemy models or its own models. And also, if you can cons surround it correctly, if it does die, the Death Company won't be able to disembark when, if it, uh, when it dies, which means the, the entire unit is destroyed. So, it's going to be a very interesting combat phase. However, Dan hasn't finished charging. What's next, Dan? No, so we're going to do this Venom. This Venom? Multi charging. Um, the. Uh, lab, sorry. Yeah. So, Lieutenant. L Lieutenant and, and the, the Bal Predator. Bal Predator yeah. Okay, so you need a seven inch, six, seven inch charge? Yeah. With a ten. Easy. Yep. Overwatch, of course. Yeah, I might so. Make it. Okay, twin assault town? Yeah, you're going to make it. Do you reroll ones to hit? Ones yeah. Nah, not good enough. Uh, threes, nothing. Yeah, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then two heavy bolters. Two hits. Uh, Force to wound. Nothing. So you're nice and easy in there to probably just jump in the middle of those two. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Uh, so they've that's just charged there. So now it looks like the witch is going to charge Mephiston. Yep. Okay. So Overwatch with a plasma pistol. No. Okay, it's a Is miss. Oh, Never mind. So the witches, which can reroll. Yep, I'm in. They are in. Anything else to charge into Mephiston? Lilith. Lilith. Is in. With a nine. And then the succubus who stood at the side. Yeah. All in there. So, um, that is how they've charged into combat. They completely surround Mephiston. However, Mephiston is empowered by Sanguinius himself. He has speed of the Primarch. Oh, can he? He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he has speed of the Primarch, the, the flight of eagles. So he does actually get to strike first in combat. Yes. Because of his warlord trait. Who would you like to hit first? Everything going at Lilith. I think. Lilith yeah, go Everything's going to hit Lilith. So it's hitting on twos. Who's to hit? With his uh, uh, sword. Mm -hmm. So 
for three hits. Two, Probably two wounds. <laughs> two wounds, it's from ten. Yeah. So that's three wounds. Three wounds, minus... Um, minus loads. She's got, uh, minus she's, loads. Got a she's got a seven up save. Okay, <laughs> so, so three, three plus invulnerable save. That all passed. Cool. So, so what unit are you going to start out with, Dan? I am going to go back with Lilith. So, who's striking next, Dan? Lilith's going next. Okay, so, so what's she, she attacking with? Uh, she's attacking with the knives first. The knives? She technically hits on one plus, but. Can't okay, do that. one's to hit. One's to hit. All hit. Uh, all hit. <laughs> all hit. So she's because she's took the plus one strength. She's actually strength four. So she's moving on fours. So she's five. Five. She's toughness five. five. Toughness five. Okay, so fives. But I get to re-roll these. Nice. Wait, how do you how come you get to re-roll? Uh, because she's targeting a character. All ah, right. Okay. She's, she's a character she's, she's hunter. A isn't she? Yeah. yeah. So three. That'll that be. They're at minus four. So four wounds at minus four. So you have a six up save. So one, one passed. How much damage? One each. One each, so, so now... Uh, Lord of Death. Lord of Death save. Mm, so it takes great. three wounds, so he's actually down to one already. Okay. And then we've got a slap with a whip hair. She's got whippy hair. Whippy hair. Whip it back Two and forth. Back. Both hit. Uh, these are base strength, so fours. Uh, one wound. And that is a minus dash, I believe. Minus dash. Oh, hold on, I get to re-roll that because it's lit. One at minus dash. One at minus dash. Oh. Does fail. <laughs> Any command point? Or are you going to let... <laughs> You've only got like two left, have you? Or is it three? I'm not going to bother. So that is anyway. Warlord kill for Dan. Disaster. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, combat phase. Dan absolutely tanked and tanked and tanked. Probably wrong choice of word because the tank tanked. Did three wounds to the land raider. And then no wounds elsewhere with anything else? No. No one's elsewhere. Um, Mephiston was obviously killed. Uh, Chris, your land raider did two wounds to the Venom, was uh, it? It was the lieutenant. Oh, the lieutenant that did yeah. two wounds to the Venom as well. Um, so, that is the end of the combat. It's going to be turn four. Okay. So, are you feeling confident still? Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling like I really want to get those Death Company out and they'll make everything better. But <laughs> I'm not sure what's going to happen at this point. We'll have to see. Blood, Raven, uh, Blood Angels, turn four. So not, so not much has moved. Uh, the Storm Raven is in hover mode now and just kind of whip round looking nastily at those witches there. Uh, the Baal Predator has moved, uh, charged forwards looking for new targets since everything here is kind of locked in combat. But otherwise nothing has moved. So Blood Angels don't have much shooting because this guy couldn't disengage from combat and the Death Company couldn't get out because there's no room. So let's see what you can do in the shooting phase. So this Bal Predator fired into the Venom here and just thankfully blew it up. Um, well, he didn't actually blow up, he killed it, but let's see what else he can do. So the Storm Raven, what's shooting first? Uh, twin multi Multimalters into Lilith, Twin Storm Strikes into Lilith, Twin Assault Cannons into the guys with the Dark Lance. Yeah, because she's the closest target, so Storm Strikes first. Okay, Storm Strikes. One hit. One hit. And twos. Yep. Twos. Three plus in one rubble, so. No. Does fail. Yeah, I will use a command point. A command point, you've only really got one left after this. That's it's good. passed. Okay. Uh, okay. So what's next? Uh, twin multi -mouters. Twin multi -mouters. Same target? Yes. And twos. Twos again. Two uh, wounds. Good. Oh, he's passed them both. Good. And then twin assault cannons at this really this unit here? Yes, they are. Three. So threes to hit. Mm. Not it's not uh, terrible. Twos. Yeah. Six wounds. Six wounds at minus one. So I'm not base armor. Five. five up save. And that unit is gone. Six up. Oh, six up, of course. And that unit is still gone. Unit is still gone. Yep. So the Bal Predator, twin assault kind of these witches, because that is the only target that can probably shoot because everything else is in combat. Yep. Okay, rolling ones. They didn't move. Yeah, so three this time. Yeah. Two. That's a lot of armor saves. Re rolling ones? Seven armor saves, oh, yeah. Eight armor eight saves. Armor You're welcome, Dan. <laughs> Six ups. Yeah, they do. And that unit is gone. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Obviously, every unit pretty much that um, 
was a viable target is died except for Lilith and the what's this one called again, Dan? That's the succubus. The succubus, of course. So it's now the charge phase. Uh, what's charging? Is anything charging? Just the captain into. Uh, I believe that he can't see fell back this turn. Yeah. Okay, so just the captain into the venom. Can't overwatch because it's in combat already. Uh, it's probably a two inch. We're in. <laughs> we're in. Yeah, we're in. You get five inches to play with. Captain strikes into the Venom, uh, hitting on twos with five attacks. Move only ones. Nice. Yeah, so red thirst makes it force to wound. Re rolling ones. So three wounds, three saves, Dan. Four ups. One wound. Down to one left. Okay. Have you got any um, any other units? You got the land raider to strike first, because obviously, unless Dan wants to interrupt. I've only got one command point now. He can't interrupt, so the Land Raider strikes. What would you like to hit? The Venom, I guess. The Venom, good shout. Okay. Re rolling ones to hit. No, he has a shot. <laughs> Two, uh, no hits, it's six, isn't it? Yeah. So it's the end of the Blood Angels combat. We're going to come back in a few minutes after yeah. Dan has rolled 300 dice and done <laughs> no wounds. So Dan's combat, he actually did five wounds with the Incubi because he got, <laughs> he got uh, five wounds through and it's minus three. So he got five th wounds through, but everything else did nothing. So that is the end of the Blood Angels turn. Uh, do we have any morale checks? I don't think so. No. no. So, uh, Dan, it is now your turn four. Yeah, don't forget about the objectives. I am going for the objectives, don't you worry. Dark Eldar movement phase coming up. So, movement phase, the Venom disengaged from combat and just going for that objective. Uh, is that about it, Dan? It's about yeah, all that moved. They disembarked from the venom and got out. They disembarked first and jumped away. So that is the end of the movement phase, shooting phase. They're in a lot, is there? Just a couple no, of pistols couple into the land raider. Yeah, yeah. These guys and maybe the venom. So we'll see what you can do. So the unit warrior shot into the lieutenant and he died. The blaster did three wounds and then one poison, one failed armor save. Well, so he's a game over. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try and poison shot that in the back. So the poison tried shooting into the bow predator and did absolutely nothing. So that is the end of the shooting phase. Dan, any yeah. charges, mate? That succubus is going to try and take on that bow predator. <laughs> <laughs> succubus into the bow predator. Overwatch time. Twin assault cannon hitting on sixes, re rolling ones. Just the one hit. Just the one. One wound. Okay. Uh, four, up for succubus. four up. Yep, mix it. Mix it. And then the. Harry Bolters. One. Oh, no, yeah, no. That's it. Nothing. So the succubus charges in there. Any more charges, yeah, mate? Lilith into the captain. Lilith into the captain. So the captain of watch with his no, bolter. bolter, no hits. Yeah, so three inch. Maybe yeah, rolling. Yep. Yeah, you're fine. Yep, she's gonna go there. Anything else? No. Oh yeah, sorry. Warriors into that bow. Yeah, warriors into the bow predator. So bow predator overwatch again. Okay. Twenty salt cannons, sixes re-rolling ones. Um, one. one hit. And there's one, one wound and then the heavy bolt here. Yeah. Nothing. nothing. So one wound against the warriors. Yeah, I think I'm going to be Mine, one wound, one save, minus one. Oh, one save, okay. Yeah. Yeah, minus one, so six up. Yep. It's on fine. 2d6. I think you're in. So, so Lilith will strike first. Yep. Uh, against the captain. Yep, so with the connives. 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 Hit on twos. Hit on twos, re-rolling ones. All, All hit. Right. Uh, she's strength four, so fours. Fours to wound. Reroll in. Uh, she rerolls because he is a character. Reroll in. Yep. Five invulnerable saves. Yep. Four, four ups. Uh, one goes through. One goes through. Just one damage. One damage. Then a whippy hair. Whippy hair. Two and hits. Two hits. Just strength four. Two, two wounds. wounds. Two two ups. Yeah. It's all good. That's fine. That's fine. Is that everything from Lilith? That's everything from Lilith. Okay. Uh, so next, your next charging roll. unit. We're going to choose the Archon. The Archon. Yeah, okay. Got a so is he charges ten? What? No. Four. Succubus. Oh yeah, sorry. Next charging unit. So four attack for the Archer Sight Glaive. Technically hitting on threes, but plus one, so I'm hitting on twos. Uh, we only want to the Thank God. Oh. oh dear. Two hits. Strength five. So Six, five. Uh, fives, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So the Archon is striking the Land Raider. He can't yes. pilot because he's already in, co in contact with the Land Raider, so he can't move. Let me roll that one now. So all hit. Looking sixes. Sixes again. Nothing. <sighs> Reroll that one then. Reroll. No. So uh, that is all of Dan's charging units and his first unit. So Chris now has a unit to strike with. Who would you like to strike with first? Yeah. I thought it was going to 
going to make much difference at this stage. Let's go ball into these guys. Ball into those guys. Yeah. Nothing. So now the rest of Dan's attacks. We're not going to bother filming because I don't know if he'll do much. So the Incubi did another two wounds yeah. to the Land Raider. So it's got it's taken 13. It's only got five left. What a shame. Uh, captain on Lilith as well. But the Captain is now going to attack Lilith. All hit. All hit. Uh, threes. No, twos, because you add one to the roll. Oh, well, doesn't make any difference. There's three, yeah, still three wounds. Three wounds, so three, three, three wounds. ups. All she good. does pass all of them. So that is the end of the combat phase, I believe. Is everything oh, attacked? Uh, Baal Predator on the Succubus. The Baal Predator attacks the Succubus. One hit. One hit. One wound. Yeah. One wound. Yeah. Decent. Not bad at all. So that is the end of the combat. It is the end of the Dark Eldar turn four. Dan, yeah. did you do enough? No. No. I don't even know what I've done wrong as well. All right, okay. So, uh, that's the end of the turn. T turn five, potentially the last turn, is right now. So, end of Blood Angel's turn, five movement phase. Um, the Baal Predator, who was here, used the overcharge engines, which we were saying off camera that it is a bit terrible, but it essentially gets an advance 2d6 and pick the highest. Mm -hmm. So, he did get just enough to get in range of that objective, which is worth four points to Chris. So, it is very good. Um, the Death Company found a gap <laughs> in the, um, com in the onslaught of combat and decided to jump out, which they really needed to do. Uh, this Battle Predator is just pulled out of combat as well. The Storm Raven is lining up its guns. Um, so that is the end of the movement phase. Shooting phase. What are we starting out with, Chris? Okay, we'll go with the everything from the Storm Raven unloading into the Venom with one so, wound. Yeah, so everything from there into that one wound Venom. Here <laughs> goes. So the Assault Cannon did five wounds and ended up destroying it. Um, so And it did not blow up. So what's next? Uh, twin multi monster into the Succubus. The someone strikes and a waste of the. Yep. Uh, that's one hit. One hit. Not, yep. not in range of the captain. Twos. Uh, one wound. Four one wound. Makes it. Makes it. So not much shooting. So the Death Company are just going to turn around and straight charge everything that's behind them. Yeah. They are like, stop I'm hitting my box. <laughs> 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 so we've got uh, six Death Company on the on Lilith first. Mm. It's just three, isn't it? No, yeah, it's just three. Yeah. Oh, three of them, sorry. Yeah. Uh, two's to wound. Two's to wound because of the red thirst. Uh, we have nine wounds. Nine wounds on Lilith. Nine three plus saves. Uh, three ups. Uh, two wounds. Two. And the power from pain. pain. One, One wound. wound, nice. Oops. Four. So now into the succubus. Uh, Rerolling ones. On Very cheeky. Captain's useful to have around. So three missed. Two's to wound because of the red thirst. Ouch! I don't know how many that is. Six, twelve, eight, nineteen. Nineteen wounds Two against wounds. the succubus. Nineteen four-up saves. Do you have enough dice, Dan? Yep. Do now. Falls. And it's dead. Six ups. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. How many wounds has it got? Five. How I many need, have you? I need five sixes. Five sixes. No chance, the succubus is dead. So against the Archon, we've only ones, twos, two wounds. Two ups. And he's fine. Okay. Cool, so now your captain will get to strike, or your Baal Predator. Uh, I think I'll choose the captain. The captain strikes Lilith, all hit, Freeze, all wounded. Five wounds. Three ups. Takes a wound, no. takes a wound, down to three, down to three wounds. So Lilith is going to strike back with the her wear knives. No, strike the captain, take three of them. Sure. Uh, yep. I'm not supposed to Captain with Lilith. For six. Oh. Hit. Four to wound, reload each character. Uh, four wounds. Four, four ups. That's two passed. One failed. So it's down to... That's taken two wounds. Yeah. They're taking two wounds so whippy, far. Yeah. Whippy hair. Whippy hair. We roll in. Because she's a witch. Um, two wounds. Two wounds. No, uh, yeah, Takes wound. another wound. She's down to one. Nice. So have you got? You want? It's your next unit, isn't it? So it'll be the Bal Predator. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That Bal. 
Let's go for Land Raider, actually. Oh, the Land yeah, Raider? Uh, yeah, one attack on the Inky Bar, why not? One hit, one wound. One wound? No, he's not. Uh, he's <laughs> fine. <laughs> and now, uh, Dan's next unit. Yeah, that's. Um, so I'll do, just do this Slith here. That Slith. Uh, hitting on threes. Two hitting hits. Hitting on fives. One, one wound. One. He's good. He's fine. He's fine. Um, so now it is the Bal Predator. Yeah, I've been saying it. I've said it that many times. It is finally correct. <laughs> Hitting on sixes. <laughs> nothing. Cool. Dan's oh. next unit. Other Slith. Um, can he pile in and attack another unit? No, he's in, no, he's he's in with contact with the Land Raider. So, no, all hit. Five. Two. Two wounds nice. at minus one. Yeah, good. He's absolutely good. Uh, have you, you've got no units left, have you? No. So what we're going to do, we're going to stop the camera and let Dan try and kill the Land Raider. I don't think it's going to happen, but... So the Land Raider is finally destroyed, the Incubi took a wound and then the Witchers end up finishing it off with the Agonizer, funnily enough. You can pile in three inches towards the nearest enemy model. So lots and lots of cheeky movement to be done. So that is the end of the piling, so Dan is starting to think he might have a fighting chance, he just needs to stop Chris from scoring, which it looks like he could do, but we will have to see. <laughs> so. Dark Eldar, potentially last movement phase, turn 5, coming up. End of the movement phase, uh, the Incubi and the Slith and the Archon have charged towards that objective to stop Chris scoring it and score it himself. Um, and then these guys have kind of just gone towards to try and tie these up, try and block Chris from scoring the two-point objective, which is, is it under the Bal Predator? Yeah, it's there, but my troops are upset. Okay, so, and within three inch. So, shooting phase, do you have anything to do, Dan? Yeah, I've just got just a, a blaster up there into them. A blaster into the Storm Raven? Yeah, I've got some pistols and whatnot. Go for it, so blaster. So blaster up at the Storm Raven. Misses. <laughs> I'm going to use my last command point. Last command point. It, re roll it. It misses. <laughs> and then we just got eight shots with it. Into the Storm Raven as well. Yeah, Go for it, so fours. One, one wound it's makes his save. <laughs> Any charges, Dan? Um, I've just got a couple of pistols, so I'm going to try and pistol in there. And the pistol into the death company. company. Missed. Missed. Pistol. pistol. Hits. hits. The two plus. I mean, never rolled on that. Yeah, so two hits. Two to wound. Two wounds minus two. Uh, that's it's one, one dead. Two. One six up. No. So no, he's he dead. A wound for all it's worth. Uh, Lilith doesn't have a pistol, they're not in combat, they're in combat. Okay, so combat phase, any charges? Yeah, the Incubi are going to just charge in here. Charging to Bal Predator, so yeah. Overwatch coming up. Mm, a few sixes. Shit. So four hits. <laughs> three, <laughs> three wounds. Three, three minus wounds. One. Uh, minus one. So four ups. Uh, two die. Two Bye. dead. Two six ups. Nope. Two dead. Charge range. Oh, bolters. Oh, yeah, of course, bad. bolters. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. I'm missing it. I'm missing it. It's too fast. Five re inch. Re anyway. Re-roll it. Yeah. It's going to get a nine. So they're going to be able to hold that objective. Yeah. yeah. So uh, combat phase. Do you want to do? You want oh, to charge the witches in as well. Charge the witches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Angry women. Screaming women. So all this combat up here first. All the witches. It's up to you. Yeah, we'll do this one. It's this one. So this is a clavex. Um, there you go. And I'm actually need five and aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. One. One wound. One at minus three. Minus three. Nope. Fails, takes a wound. Then all the incubi. Two's to hit with the incubi. Yep. One miss. Power from pain. And then five's to wound. Three yeah, wounds. Three at minus three. Minus three. three. Uh, yep, that's all three. Three wounds, so take them four. It's got six left. Yeah, uh, Slith, one is there. Slith. Three attacks. One, then, nothing. <laughs> wow. Um, and then witches. the witch. So agonizer. All hit. Forced a wound. Uh, uh, one wound at minus two. Minus two on the death company. Nope. <laughs> Failed. Uh, uh, six up. Nope. 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 So one dead. And then we've got witches attack. Uh, they all hit. All hit. Wounded on fives. Yep. Uh, three, wounds. three wounds. No AP though, mate. No AP. So three normal saves on the death company. One six up, one dead. Black Rage is terrible today. <laughs> Archon with the Agonizers strikes in now. We roll ones. Four hits. Four to wound. Three wounds. 
So uh, three wounds. Seven. How much damage? One. Yeah, all gone. Uh, so three dead. So the death company next. Please. Um, oh, what are they hitting? Sorry, because it's three, four units there. Uh, um, so, death company going to strike next. What's first? Uh, two into the witches. Uh, that's five, and then that's just the three wounds, and that's... No, plus that's two because I charged yeah, you. Charge, so yeah. 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 yeah, so four wounds. So four, four of the wounds. One dead. And then six up. Nope. One dead. Okay. And the last one into the slith. Into the slith. Three hits. Three hits and... Three, three wounds. wounds. Oh, two wounds. Oh, two wounds. Not bad yet. So he's so toughest five, not three. Five ups. Yeah, two so dead. From pain, two down to one. Down to one wound. Lilith strikes three. with her with her knives into the death company or the captain? The captain. Into the captain. Uh, you roll them. All hit. All hit. Fours. Fours. Four. We roll in. Four invulnerables, and he's dead. He does take one, so he is dead. Yeah. He was five wounds, oh, My apologies, he's only on four wounds. He's actually fine. It wasn't. It wasn't his wound. It was just a dice next to him on the last Swift. turn. My apologies. Oh, sure, yeah, sure, sure, sure. The captain strikes back. So five hits. Yep. Um, just three wounds. On three him. wounds on Lily. Three, three ups. And six up. Takes a wound. The, the Down to two. Trading blows, these kids. <laughs> um, Slith. Slith into attacks the death into the death company. All hit. The strength five. So threes. threes. Uh, they're at minus one. Three wounds. Three. Three. So all passed. Nice. Um, Anything I, else? Yeah, I've just got warriors up there in the bar. Warriors into the bar. <laughs> Go on, lads. Take a wound off here. They all no, no, no. <laughs> Sixes. One wound, one three up save. Oh, it takes a wound. So is that the end of combat? That is the end of combat. Okay. I oh, apologise, yeah. you've got the Bal Predator to attack. Go for that one. Uh, does nothing. Uh, that, one. Slith, yeah. that one into the slith. Uh, it's one uh, four. Nothing, nothing. So that and is... The other one, oh, yeah. uh, one hit and nothing. Nothing. You roll one. <laughs> so that was all the predators attacking. That is the end of the combat phase. Any morale checks? Morale check for the death company. Death company, yeah. They're gone. <laughs> uh, did they get to re-roll? Re uh, and they shall know no fear. Oh yeah. Do they? Have, oh yeah, they do. Have, yeah. I'm not used to playing space marines. So we'll just work out how many they actually lose. So the death company only took one for morale, so not too bad. And I believe that's the end of turn five. Dan, have you all finished? I am, mate. Yeah. No more morale checks. So Chris, would you like to do the honors and see if we end the game on a one or a two? It does end. So that is the end of the game, guys. Okay, so we're all right then. So um, that is the end of the game. We're just going to work out how many points we got. So at the end of the game, obviously it's end of turn five. We did, we did roll a one. So uh, Chris, how many points did you score? I've scored one for the first strike. Oh, maybe one for line breaker as well. Yeah, one for line breaker. So you scored two points and you're currently holding no objectives. Unfortunately. This has gone a completely different way as I thought. Dan, how many points did you score? Um, first, first strike. You got first strike. Warlord. You got Warlord because you did not, kill Eagle Man. Yeah, not, object, uh, not line breaker. No line breaker. I did, I did get one. You're holding, that, there, you're holding so that one which is worth it. one. And then there is an objective just under this predator. And he is within three with an obsec unit. So Dan does win the game. Just. Who knew? It turns out, spoiler alert, if you've not watched any other battle, Blood Angels battle reports, so make sure you mute it now. That they haven't won a single game in any of the channels that we watch. <laughs> they make a mess on the first turn, but then they, they just don't win. So there you go, we'll have a quick outro go. So there you have it guys. Uh, that is the end of the game and Dracaria the winners. For the first time, I think. For the first time. <laughs> Without your Nari help. It didn't look like it was gonna go like that, did it? I mean, Chris, Chris your, really well. your line of armor was doing absolutely fantastic. After I've blown away virtually every single Venom and yeah. up the There was nothing. I thought, I thought I'm fine. You don't actually need to. Uh, <laughs> you don't need uh, the vehicle, yeah. you'll just get out. Yeah, you don't need to kill any of my tanks, you just need to surround them and then score the objectives after. Yeah, yeah. Just, just survive for as long as possible, then run onto the objectives. And that's how you win games, sadly. Uh, yeah. That's the way That's the way it goes. Don't roll ones with Dark Lancers. Don't so. roll ones. I mean, come on. If you would have got them Dark Lancers, <laughs> a, land, a Crusader would have died, then Death Company would have died, and then. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, Dark Lancers did not do well. They did, I, don't, I don't think any damaged anything, did it? So. Yeah. It was pretty terrible. So Chris, how do you rate the Blood Angels Codex? It's interesting. I think I might not have used the, the stratagems that went to the best of my 
Yeah, it was a lot of a lot of re rolls, really, wasn't it? Yeah. But yeah. but there you go. I'm going to say with, True. with a command True. point, it's not like you can just go through the book. And, and then every time you try to get blood boil off, it failed. <laughs> <laughs> or not in range. We got Wings of Sanguineous off once, yes. which was very tasty, but then the sadly it went thing. down. Uh, Dan, what do you think to Blood Angels? And he did I, just I, win. I, I, like, I do like them. I think the, um, the, the plus one to wound is ridiculous. Red Thirst is, is crazy so good. good. I mean, Black Rage sounds good on paper, but mm. when you're not rolling any sixes for the saves... It definitely makes Death, Com Death Company and the Golden Host very viable now. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's big does. time it hard. It's yeah, just getting extra attack on the charge. Really. Yeah, I think it's just the the counter charge. Which, if you start losing models, because they are very elite, aren't they? Let's let's be honest. If yeah. you start losing models, that's where you start mm. failing. The, the great thing is with, with Red Thirst, it's when you charge or be charged. It's just yeah. like all the time. First round of combat, you are wounding plus yeah. one, which is amazing. It's really good. Again, you just need to play to that thing. I think Blood Angels have got a very particular way to play now. If you want to make full use of Red Thirst and Black Rage, if you can. Um, they're still very viable as sh just normal marine units. Oh yeah, totally. The gun line works and the stuff. armor. The armor clearly works. Yeah. It's just well, yeah, because it's just end game stuff. They have even to be careful. Tactical marines are like wounding land raiders and stuff on fives, which is crazy good. Just punching stuff. <laughs> I mean, if only you could wound stuff on fives in yeah, combat. Not sixes. I mean, not mm. sixes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've learned about uh, when to bring in terminators as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Turn two. <laughs> to be fair, they, they jumped in the hornet's nest, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would have been good. They 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 needed to die. But that there you go. That's the way of war. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Um, if you liked anything that we saw, saw in the battle report, do let us know what you like. If there's anything you didn't like, then I apologise. But do try and tell us so we can try and improve it. I mean, you can get rid of me if you want. Whatever you know, don't like my beard, I'll shave it. Whatever, I won't really. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, we've been Hellstone Wargaming. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you in the next battle report. Happy Wargaming, guys. <laughs>